will be given one minute to read the question, both of you. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering it history taking station, kindly please begin. Uh, yes, hello, my name is Dr. Hussain, one of the exactly. surgical doctors in Kilnangi today. Uh, may I confirm your name and age, please? Hi, I'm uh, Ms. Potts, uh, I'm 54 years old. Very nice to meet you, Ms. Potts. Uh, today, uh, as I read your notes, that uh, you have uh, suffering from the back pain for the last uh, couple of years. So before proceeding further, can I ask you, uh, can you please explain a little bit more for me? Yes, doctor. I, I started uh, developing this pain in my lower back since five years, and uh, it has been worsening uh, over the past three years, doctor. And it has been severe recently, so I came to the hospital. So oh, I understand it must be very difficult for you. Uh, but can you please tell me a little bit more how this pain is started? Uh, it started slowly, doctor. Uh, there was uh, no history of. Uh, I did not have any history of trauma to my back. But it started slowly over a period of time. Okay, and does this pain goes towards your legs? Yes, doctor. It goes down my uh, the back of my uh, buttock uh, sometimes. Sometimes it is in, just in my back. I'm so sorry to hear that. And uh, how is the character of this pain? Either it's in burning in character or dull in character. How can you define? Uh, it is a sharp type of pain, doctor. Okay, and how this pain get uh, better or worse? Uh, when I bend forwards or I squat, it uh, becomes worse. And uh, it when I take medicines, it is less painkillers, it subsides. Super great. Uh, if you uh, read this pain, uh, I can say that uh, one is the mild pain and uh, 10 is a very severe pain. How would you like to rate this pain? It is a mild to moderate pain, doctor. It's not that severe. It's more mild to moderate pain. Okay, does this pain uh, happen whole 24 hourly or it especially occur in the morning time or night time? Uh, it is present uh, throughout the day, more when I'm standing for long times or when I bend forward or, or do any work like that. Okay. Uh, do you have any bowel and uh, uh, bladder uncontrollable system? No, no, doctor. Okay. Do you have any history of weight loss? No, doctor. Do you have a fever? Uh, no history of fever. Okay. Do you feel uh, that uh, you have a weakness in your lower limbs or any uh, loss of sensation recently? Uh, no, doctor. I do not have any weakness. Okay. Uh, if you don't mind, Just can I ask you a few personal questions? Yeah, sure. Uh, what do you do for a living? I am a housewife. Uh, I stay at home. Okay. Uh, do you smoke? No, doctor. I don't smoke. Uh, do you take uh, drink alcohol? 
no doctor uh, do you have any allergy to medications no no allergy doctor okay uh, have you ever been admitted to the hospital before yeah a couple of times during childbirth okay any uh, serious illness uh, you have uh, got in the childhood no no okay have you gone through any surgical procedure before yeah i've gone through a cesarean section okay. how many times once doctor okay uh, and uh, uh, what do you think that uh, why this pain has happened to you after i think there is some problem uh, i think maybe it is in my spine there is some problem okay so what do you expect from us i want you to provide me a resolution of my uh, problem mainly the pain so that i can go take care of my husband at home Uh, I can do works at home. Uh, okay, I'm assure you that uh, we have very good uh, team over here, and uh, after completion of my history, I will do the examination. And uh, if I need some investigations, so I will go to, go through the investigation as well. Uh, and then uh, I will discuss your case with my senior surgeons as well. And then till then, please take care of yourself. I will come back to you. Thank you. Okay. okay thank you so now that you have uh, taken the history can you uh, can you summarize the case or history for me please uh, yes ma'am uh, 54 years old female uh, yes. a housewife by profession she presented to me with the complaint of uh, back pain for last 4 years yes and uh, uh, the pain was radiating towards uh, her legs uh, downward Yes. and uh, there is no any associated with the fever weight loss and bowel or bladder control uh, dysfunction yes uh, and there is no any history of a trauma as well so according to my history my differential so, diagnosis yes, yes ma'am your provisional and differential diagnosis please. yeah ma'am ha huh? uh, my differential diagnosis it might be the uh, due to the uh, sciatica secondary to the prolapse vertebral disc uh or it could be the uh, any uh, infection like uh, tuberculosis of the spine or it could be the any uh, malignancy like a metastasis uh, of the uh, lumbar spine and uh, my provisional diagnosis is i asked all these question and uh, she was denied to weight loss and all these things so it might be the mechanical uh, back pain Uh, it might be due to the spindle low lysis so for okay, further confirmation uh, how would you confirm your diagnosis what investigations would you ask uh, initially i will go uh, with the x ray lumbosacral spine because okay. it's readily available and uh, then i will go for the baseline workup that consists of uh, complete blood count and uh, esr and crp to rule out any infection uh if i am not uh, uh, reached a diagnosis on these uh, investigation then uh, i will go for the mri of the lumbosacral spine as well okay what management or treatment would you suggest this lady uh at this time i advise this lady uh to start with the physiotherapy and uh, bed rest and uh, some uh, nsaids to relief from the pain uh and then uh, i will manage this uh, according to my uh, diagnosis and you will refer to the social worker as well yes ma'am okay very good uh yes if we can discuss the feedback all the important points you covered so very nice you asked about the site onset character of the pain radiation any associated features uh any constitutional symptoms you covered you asked about the i think you forgot to ask about the relieving and exacerbating factors uh yes ma'am yes only this part you left uh and you forgot to ask about the severity 
between the time scale uh, between the uh, I asked ma'am I asked from the patient regarding severity okay I'm sorry I missed what was the answer of the patient eight maybe uh, it was uh, eight. seven eight I guess yes I think yes then you asked okay so just the exacerbation you forgot to ask and then you asked about the past history past medical and surgical history social history you covered even the eyes idea concern and expectation so uh this was very good very nice uh the problem for me arised when i asked you even you summarized the history very nicely i must say within the 30 second given time uh, for me, the problem arised when I asked you to give me your provisional and differential diagnosis. So, and then definitely investigation matters on what investigations you'll ask for. And management also depends on what, in, what your provisional diagnosis is, what investigations you are doing. And then management is also affected by that. So, one, you said shaitika. Okay, if you thought of Sharitika, then you went for X-ray, right? So how would you rule out Sharitika on X-ray only? And uh, then you... not only for X-ray. Uh, yes. Initially, I would like to rule out if there are any stress fracture of the spine. Yes, uh, it or could be the you said tuberculosis, uh, so POTS fracture. Yes, on X-ray yes, that can be ruled out. But then maybe you would have to ask for some other advance. Texas scans because you said metal, uh, metal yes, as well. So those can be done with MRI or ICT scan or advanced investigations. So blood, all blood investigations you go for. But what my problem is in the exam, no, most commonly the back pain uh, station which comes, it's either functional back pain, mechanical back pain, like uh, then you can differentiate it's functional back pain or mechanical back pain, lower back pain, right? Or it could be because yes. of uh, trauma or because of when there is a sudden uh, history of lifting heavy in heavy objects. So, or yes. there could be a disease. So accordingly, or the, uh, or another scenario could be because of for the equina syndrome. Then you, you have even ruled that out. So since you were ruling out, so maybe at the end you can say maybe for it, we know maybe not but then yeah since there were no symptoms so you ruled that out good yes, thank you thank you